Hello everybody, I'm Rainbow Smash. I'm wanting to get together with all of you who are not and are watching this thing. My channel isn't just going to be about, you know, gaming, uh, although that's going to be most of it. Uh, also, I want to touch base with people who are, you know, have problems or anything like that. Uh, there's really nothing I can do right now. I don't have enough of a of a reach to be able to help you, but there are uh, there are some people out there that I know, uh, me among them, who struggle with you know feeling things and knowing things about yourself. You just can't share with other people. It's not like it's not like I'm a psycho killer or anything. There's just some things that you can't talk to other people about in the beginning. You have to discover them for yourself first. You have to become yourself first. And uh, some people who struggled with it or had no problems with it were, you know, a bunch of the, uh, the gay, lesbian, bisexual, transgender, fluid gender community. You know what I mean? Uh, a lot of people have a hard time coming out. I think it's a shame that people have to hide who they are because either they don't want their parents to be upset, they don't want their friends to think they're weird, they don't want to lose relationships that they have with other people because of who they are. It's not fair. Uh, and what I think is an even bigger shame about all of it is that uh, when people come out one way or another, uh, some, most people, most people come off, come off immediately the way they actually feel. But some people will come off, you know, oh, it's okay. And then later on, they just lose their shit. Everything about the whole thing has just not been kosher to them. And the thing is, it's not about that person. It's about the individual that had enough guts to come out. If you have enough guts to come out to people, I'm proud of you you have done yourself and your friends a service because you're not lying to them anymore. I think it's a shame that there are people out there who uh, who feel like they need to hide themselves. Either either from uh, either from their family, their friends, strangers. Uh, recently I went to a gay bar for the first time. Fun stuff. Fun stuff. There are a lot of people there that I actually knew that I didn't know were gay or bisexual or transsexual. I didn't know. And they didn't tell me, and or I didn't pay attention, or, or something. And I think it's a shame that those people either didn't tell me or didn't feel like they could tell me. It's like, if, if you feel like you can't tell me, then we're really not friends, you know? If, if you feel like you can't tell me that you're a lesbian, or you're gay, or you're bisexual, or you're transgender, you're gender fluid, and we've been friends for years, I'm very sorry that I made you feel like you couldn't tell me those things. And I feel like anyone who can't accept their friend after they've come out for who they are was never really their friend in the first place. <sighs> but it's, I just find that it's really hard for me to understand why people feel like when someone comes out it's a shame. Either it's a shame because they uh, they can't have kids or you don't think that they're supposed to be this way or they're not gonna go to heaven. Well you know what in my opinion it's none of your business. It's not your business how a person feels. It's not your business why they feel that way. Either you're going to support them and be a friend, or you're going to be a piece of crap and ridicule them for something that they have no control over. You can pretend not to feel that way, you can suppress the feeling all you want, but it, it's just not something that can happen. Um, like a long time ago, like I think like six or seven years ago, I came out as a bisexual and someone close to me told me that they love me, but I'm still going to hell. It's okay that they think that way, but to say it like that, not cool. Well, I mean, eventually they came around, kind of, but to this day, I still every once in a while hear from them, you know, you like girls or whatever, and it's, 
It's, it's just, you know, I, I can't control what I like. I'm not going to fake that I don't like something or that I do. I'm going to be true to myself. And there are some things about me recently that I have discovered about myself that I'm not going to share quite yet with y'all or the one person who has subscribed. <laughs> I'm really proud of a couple of my friends who have come out of the closet or have gone, you know, transgender or whatever. And to me, to me, coming out is one of the most beautiful things you can possibly do. I'm not saying that what I have to do has anything to do with my sexuality or anything. I'm just saying it's really cool that you can come out with something like that. This, this channel is not going to just be about gaming. It's going to be about companionship, bringing people together, um, documenting things that are happening in my life and conveying them through, uh, through visual and verbal communication with my audience. For no reason whatsoever will I ever tell you anything I think will make you extremely uncomfortable. I might cuss, but I'm not going to tell you about bleepity bleep doing bleep to this guy and the bleeping thing and there's a bleeper and they used to bleep on a bleep. I'm going to just tell you what you need to know and go from there. And I suggest that if you don't like hearing anything that I say, you just walk away because it's probably not going to get much better. I, uh, obviously support gay, lesbian, bisexual, transsexual, gender fluid, anything. I, I, I support your right to feel the way you feel. I guess you can call me liberal. Like, I believe that, uh, the law that was passed in Tennessee recently where women can't have abortions, I think that's ridiculous. I don't think you should be able to have an abortion if you didn't wear a condom or if you're, uh, you just got pregnant and you didn't mean to and you don't want the kid. In my opinion, if you didn't want the kid, you should just have the kid and then give them up for adoption. Uh, but like if you get raped, you should have the option to get that hell spawn out of you. I mean, it's not the child's fault, but who wants to know that there is a child out there that came from you that is a product of such a terrible experience then there's the thing where if you have a child and they have a disease that will leave them in a wheelchair their entire life or there'll be a vegetable from the moment they're born or you know that they won't make it past the age of three and if they do they'll be on a respirator for the rest of their lives you know your kid is going to be messed up their entire life. I believe that you should be able to end their suffering before it even begins. But I have a lot of views that a lot of people don't agree with. So if you don't like anything that I have said so far in this video, you're not going to want to watch any of the videos that aren't about gaming. If you if you want to watch the gaming stuff, but not this stuff, it is going to be in the, in the freaking title that it is a non-gaming type thing. Like, it'll say something along the lines of serious talk or whatever it is. I mean, I'm going to warn you. I in no way, shape, or form endorse any religion. Uh, I don't I'm not against religion as a whole. I'm, I'm against certain aspects of religion and certain aspects of certain religions. But I'm not going to tell anyone not to believe what you believe. I just think it's ridiculous that you look at the cover and what you see is not what's on the inside. I mean, you have got to get over what you see in order to get to the good part. Like, if I pick up a book and the cover looks awful, or I just can't stand what those, what's on the cover, I still read the back to get a synopsis. And if it sounds interesting, I still open up the page and open up the book and read the first page. I mean, you have to give something a chance before you just put your foot down and that's it. That's it. No, 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 no. No more. No, I don't want it. I don't want anything to do with that. Looking at outward appearances instead of diving into the pages like you should? Not a good idea. And that's why I want one of my first videos to be explaining that this channel is not just a gaming channel. This channel is about diving into your own self. And I would totally support anyone who wants to do what I'm doing right now. I might not make it big. I might not be a Markiplier or a PewDiePie. I'm not trying to be a Markiplier or a PewDiePie. I'm trying to be a Rainbow Smash. I want everything 
everything that comes out of what everything that hits your screen I want it to mean something to you either I want you to feel happier when you watch it watch me freak out in that corner or when you watch these videos and you see that there's someone else who thinks like you or that you get a new perspective I guess I want this channel to be about not just looking at the titles and all this stuff and thinking that it's just a gaming channel I'm not just about games my life isn't a game my life is a series of ups and downs this video is getting a little long and all I really wanted to say I guess was what I just said this YouTube channel is not just fun and games this is my life and I'm sharing it with you and I'll be sharing more than just this bedroom with you eventually. Eventually, I'll be sharing my work day. And then I'll be sharing just driving to Cookville. I'll be sharing hanging out with friends with you. I'll be sharing finally talking about what I want to talk about with you. And I'll be talking about how awesome you guys are. And I can't wait to get my first review. I don't care what it is, if it's negative or positive. I just can't wait to start making people feel like they need to say something about something I've said. It's not that I want to become famous. It's not anything that has to do with that. It, it, it's more along the lines that I want to convey messages across that some people can't because I feel this way. And if there's a topic you want me to hit up on, I'll hit up on it. I'll hit up on it hard, one way or the other. I'll try to learn new things. I'll try to play games I wouldn't normally play. Uh, and just for tips for people who uh, want to mess with me later, my, uh, my top fears are uh, clowns, spiders, and uh, things that I can't see in the dark. I really hope that this channel becomes a beacon of some sort to people that I haven't met and that I might eat one day because if I if I get big I want to meet my fans I want to be the reason someone smiles or, or thinks more clearly or is inspired to be who they are because I started being who I am with this haircut yeah I'm a girl but I love this haircut so much I love it. I hope that you understand that why I'm doing this. I'm not doing it to shove my opinions down your throat. I'm doing it to talk about things that some people just aren't willing to talk about. This really has been going on too long. <laughs> I hope everyone has a good time. <laughs> a good time frame wherever you are. And uh, I'm Rainbow Smash and please have a great day.